Get ready for fall with this beginner-friendly watercolor tutorial. In today's video, I'll show you how to paint a pumpkin in four easy steps. Welcome back my friends, my name is Shada and on this channel we get creative together. Today's video is some fall fair. We are going to paint a pumpkin together step by step. And we'll start with our supplies. I'm working in a little Strathmore watercolor sketchbook. I have my Mungyo watercolor paints, two glasses of clean water, paper towel for blotting my brush, and a number eight round paintbrush. If you need supply links, check the description. Okay, starting with mixing, we're gonna mix an orange. And for my orange, I like this peachy color. It's a mix of orange, peach, and pink, and maybe a little brown if it looks a little too bright. But the pink and the brown really mute it and give you this beautiful peachy color. So we'll take that on our round paintbrush and we start with the center of the pumpkin. You're going to paint this sort of oval shape that's maybe a little bit rectangular. Then we come in and we paint a sort of crescent shape right beside that. You can see how the pumpkin is already forming and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You can go left to right or right to left, it doesn't matter. You could actually stop there if you felt like that was enough of a pumpkin, but what we're going to do is paint two more. So again, I'm moving out on the right side, painting my little crescent area and then same thing on the left. So you get this very lumpy gourd-like pumpkin. Well, pumpkin is a gourd, but you know what I mean. It looks like that beautiful Cinderella pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. And you can kind of finish off the back of the pumpkin with these little humps or bumps in behind there. That should be nice and wet because you had lots of paint in your round brush. So you can move the paint around a bit, get the shape right. And that is step one, complete. Now step two, we're going to add a little bit of shading to the form of our pumpkin. So you want to darken your orange. You could mix a little more brown in, a little more pink, a bit of darker orange or light red. And while it is still wet, but not too wet, we're going to do just a little bit of wet into wet and add some of the darker color at the bottom and also at the top of each little crescent area. And you'll see some of the pumpkin is dry. So I'm doing a bit of wet on dry. The paint's not moving, but thankfully some of it is still a little bit wet. So I get this very gentle wet into wet. The color moves in a really fluid, organic manner. And um, I'm able to shade in this really natural way. Step two, our wet into wet shading is now complete. Let's move on to step three. Just a note, if you like these beginner-friendly watercolor tutorials, you might find my watercolor e-course really helpful. It's available for $49 on my website. Check it out after the video. Our next step is all about adding precision and detail with a wet on dry technique. So we need that pumpkin to dry completely. While we're waiting, we can mix up a brown for the stem and a green for the leaves. I'm using Van Dyke Brown and then for my leaves, I have a mix of olive brown and deep phthalo green, my favorite green. And I'll mix a little bit more pink and light red into my orange to darken it, maybe even a little more brown. Okay, colors are all mixed up. We'll just check to make sure that's dry and it is. I'm gonna grab a little brown on the tip of my brush and we'll start painting the stem. And I tend to paint the stem shape using a bunch of small vertical lines. Then I kind of blend them together a little bit just so I get this messy, you know, look of a, a crooked stem, very organic and um, yeah, I'm just making it a little bit bigger at the base. You wanna use just the tip of the brush for that. And then once the stem is in place, we're going to continue with this wet on dry. We can add lots of detail because the paint is not going to run or change. It's going to stay where we put it. So we'll start to put in more dark oranges and I am adding dark orange shading to the bottom and the top of the pumpkin, leaving kind of a highlight ring through the center. It's all a bit messy and weird and that's how it should look. You don't want it to look too perfect because the pumpkin is 
is this um, organic lumpy shape. You want the shadow and highlight to be a little weird as well. You don't want it to appear too smooth. So you can see me just layering in more dark orange. I've mixed brown and light red into um, the orange that I have on the palette. And I just keep kind of mucking it up and playing with it. And you can go as dark as you like with those highlights, totally up to you. Um, you'll kind of know when it feels right. If it starts to get too wet and you're just getting too much pigment on the page, leave it alone, let it dry. You can always add more later. And then while that orange is drying, we will begin with our leaves. So grab a bit of green in your brush. And as I always say, just, you know, a few flicks of the brush and that's your leaf shape. Run the belly across the page. Just, you know, make a motion of that brush and then leave it alone. So you want these to appear very natural and organic. So don't overwork them. Just, you know, be very free and fluid with your movements and you can add some little branches and stems and curly cues and stuff like that as well. Okay, I've got good news. Step four is the exact same as step three. We are simply adding more detail using a wet on dry technique. So once again, I've let the pumpkin dry and you can see I'm coming in here with a darker green and just adding some messy little shapes to the leaves just to give them a bit of shading. I'm adding an even darker orange right at the top of the pumpkin so it looks like the pumpkin is receding in towards the stem and I'm getting quite a dramatic look. So you want to let your subject dry completely and then you're going to be able to build up all this dramatic color. And if you like, if you feel like your pumpkin needs it, you can add a little more shading to the rest of the pumpkin. We're going to add a little bit of a darker brown on the stem there. I just mixed a little purple into my brown or you can mix in black um, and just putting a few lines makes it look even more, you know, scraggly or whatever the word is. <laughs> and that is our pumpkin all done. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you would like to enter our watercolor giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and comment below with your request for a future watercolor video. Check the description for further giveaway guidelines and I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Thanks for watching.